Hello out there, Fireman601 here, and uh, no, you're not hallucinating, this is not an R-Factor or automotive related video whatsoever. This is the main menu splash screen of Train Simulator 2014 Steam Edition. And uh, yeah, what can I say, I finally broken down and uh, joined the second decade of the 21st century here and uh, made my first ever Steam purchase. So uh, ironically enough, it's a train simulator. Um, I know a little bit about trains and train simulator in general. I played it. Uh, I played Microsoft Train Simulator as a kid, and uh, I remember enjoying it, although it was rather limited in its uh, capabilities. And uh, I played it for a few years. I still have some old um, computers that I still boot it up on every now and again, but it doesn't run on my um, my Windows 7 machine for some reason. It, well, it kind of does, but the controls are all messed up. But in any case, uh, this is my first time in uh, in Train Simulator 2014, and uh, let's get into the settings here. Uh, one of the things I always do is turn off the background music, just because I don't tend to agree with it. There we go. Nice fade away. Let's see what we have here. Um, huh. I have no idea what I'm doing. Get tutorials. Build. Store. I don't want to buy anything else. I just spent fifty-four dollars on this. Um, let's see here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, let's just go to drive. I guess that sounds pretty normal. All right. Career. Quick drive. Tutorial. Standard. Uh, no. Free roam and resume. Well, there's nothing to resume. Control method expert. Okay. I have no idea what it is I'm looking at. Definitely don't want to hit career. Create your own journey. Any train, any route. Quick. Uh, what the hell am I reading here? Any weather, any time of day. Okay, let's try that here. Uh, Donner Pass. Donner Party. American West. 1800s. Cannibalism. Is that the place we're talking about? Who knows? Well, let's do train first. Uh, well, I was talking about uh, MSTS a little bit before. I re remember the SD40 diesel locomotives and the Dash 9 as well. C44, Dash 9W. Yeah, that was the uh, the Dash 9 from MSTS. Let's see what we have here. Some historics. Yeah, the SD40, I guess. Heritage? What the hell does heritage mean? I guess it's the same as historic and modern. And the SD40 is modern as well, as is the Dash 8. I guess they run these things uh, everywhere in North America, whatever. All right, then uh, we got the EMD F series. That's cool. Okay. All right, not so bad, not so bad. These uh, obviously, well, I don't know about this one, but yeah, it is. This one is obviously a Panagraph driven one, so if we want to run this one, we have to be on. Uh, Electrified line. Uh, okay then. Well, just show me all of. Ooh. Obviously for high speed uh, in the UK. And is this the Inner City Express? Yes, it is. The German high speed train had a nasty crash back in the 90s. I remember watching a show about it. In any case, uh, what are the routes we have? Donner Pass, Hamburg to Hanover. Huh. All right. Um, I want the flexibility, but I'm not that familiar with European signaling or anything like that. Uh, okay, we'll do Donner Pass then. Info? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to read all that. Okay, we'll do Donner Pass. And what locomotive do we want to use here? I'm just rambling on about nothing right now, so we'd best pick one. Uh, I remember the Dash 9 and the SD40 from Train Simulator. Microsoft Train Simulator, so we'll do uh, whatever. I guess I'll do the SD40. I remember I liked that one. And we can choose the consist. Uh, can we edit this? Loading. Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. Apparently loading takes a long time. <laughs>
Any day now. Okay. Ah. Okay, I guess this gives us the ability to pick exactly what we want on this. Yeah, I don't have any steam locomotives. So that kind of sucks. Um. Okay. Uh, yes. That gives you a picture of the rolling stock. Alright, um. Do I want to run any? Okay. Let's just, uh. Let's. I don't know. Have four of these. And I guess we have to add a locomotive. So, uh, hmm. Diesel. I wanted to do the SD40, correct? Yeah. Uh. Dodgy? They're describing it as dodgy? <laughs> as in dirty? Or as in second rate? I don't know. Anyway, we'll uh, add this to the front of the consist. There we go. Uh. Let's see. Consist 1. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the United States. Okay then. Uh, next. Uh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. Alrighty then. I still have no idea what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> okay, whatever. There we go. That works. Donner Pass. And I guess we can tell us where we're going. Um, uh, okay. Alrighty then. And the environmental conditions. We can do time of day. I guess we can do any time of day. Let's see how this works. Yeah. We'll go all the way into night, I think. That's good. We'll, we'll just do it for 11.30. Weather, we have fog, cloudy with snow, stormy, rain, overcast, cloudy, and clear. Uh, let's not have any drama here. We'll make it clear. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. Looks a little bit like a Canadian flag. Are they trying to send subliminal messages here with the maple leaf? Eh. We'll do it in summertime. And, uh, okay. I did hit go. Okay, that's okay. This is an advertisement of some sort. I totally did not <laughs> order that. Yes, popcorn, good stuff. See my video about making popcorn. <laughs> Okay, it's telling me to do simple controls first. Um, I'm just going to ignore that. All right, here we go. Okay. So if I'm to believe any of this, I'm going to say that this red thing is a throttle. This blue thing is probably the reverser. And this is probably our train brake. Okay, then. All right, so I can definitely... It's our alerter reset, most likely. What's this key? Okay, that shuts the engine off. Didn't really want to shut the engine off. Okay, right mouse button and drag. You can look around the... I almost said cockpit. The cab. <laughs> okay, uh... Emergency brake, don't want to do that. Start the engine again. See the RPM down there? Go. The engine's back started. All this stuff. Some odd revving going on back there. Okay. Alright, so I don't know any of the controls other than this appears to be the brake slash throttle. No, yeah, this is the throttle for sure. Yeah, the RPM goes up, so that's the throttle. This is a reverser gonna say. So, that's forward, 
and reverse, and I get an odd incremental... Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, the old train simulator commands work here. W for forward, S for reverse. This is interesting. Throttle controls. Okay, the A increments the throttle. Apparently Z starts and kills the engine. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we'll just throttle back. Okay, then I didn't mean to shut the engine off. Uh, let's see here. Locomotive brake, dynamic brake, and train brake. Alright, then. This is apparently uh, air pressure and the air reservoir. And fuel level. Sander, the lights. We probably want to turn the lights on. That's the H key, that's good. And Shift H turns them off just like it did. Wiper was the V key in MSTS. And it's the V key here, that's cool. Uh, what does this do? Load, unload. And the horn, spacebar in MSTS, does it work? Yes, it does. That's good. Okay, I'll stop playing with it. Uh, sanding. Sand. X was the sander in MSTS. And it works here, too. That's cool stuff. Alright, uh, so obviously speedometer. Tractive effort. Main brake reservoir and the brake cylinder. Dynamic brake, throttle, headlight, reverser, and the brakes, the train brake. Do I have views? Okay, there's number two. Alright, that's cool. Okay, how do we zoom? Alright, we zoom out. We zoom in and out using the wheel on the mouse. Number three gives us the rear. Number four gives us this flyby. Five is nothing. Six is the front end. Seven is overhead. Eight is another overhead. Nine is the map. Zero doesn't do anything. Um, okay. Okay, that's the emergency brakes. How do we throttle back using the keyboard? X does nothing, C does C kills the engine. Wait, Z kills the engine again. Crap. <laughs> okay, can we just get this stupid thing moving? <laughs> okay. Alright, got RPM back up. <laughs> Alright, I guess we have to reset the alerter. We'll release the brakes. Do we get action on the gauges? Yes, we do. That's good. So the brake cylinders are now to zero. What's this thingy? Hold on. Apparently. Okay. Um, reverser forward. And throttle up. And we're moving. And I just put it to full throttle. Probably gonna break a coupler. <laughs> but we haven't. And we're moving. And we're speeding, of course. Over the brakes. And that was a red light. I'm pretty sure that was a red light. <laughs> Actually, let's keep braking. I don't want to accidentally de derail here. Going over the points. Uh, alright. Speed limit is 30. So far this is kind of cool, I guess. I think 
can see that one mile an hour um, liberty, I guess. Okay, uh, number two. Ah, all right, all right, I see how this is. It's not too bad. I wish I could zoom out a little farther. Um, there we go. Arrow keys. Just like MSTS. <laughs> and, yeah, we're, we're speeding here. Brakes. Brake a little bit more. Because it looks like it's going to coast down a little bit. I don't know if I can see my gradient or whatever, but I'll probably keep looking ahead. Um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, what is this thing? Ooh, okay. And this thing. Task. And that'll uncouple the cars. I don't want to uncouple the cars. That's good. Alright, this thing. What is this? Yard camera, couples. Free camera. Passenger, as I guess, if we had any, but we don't. External camera rear. Alright. Alright, I see how this works. Throttle up, and uh, we see the smoke increase out in the exhaust. Throttle down, it goes away. And that's cool. Does the bell work? Yes, it does. That's the V key. So I just put it to full throttle, <laughs> and we'll see what it does. Penalty brake application for speeding. Next level crossing here. Well, I guess no penalty applications. Another level crossing. Looks like we got another one up ahead too. So we are speeding by about 40 miles an hour. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at math, but... It's an odd flashing thing in the building up ahead. No idea. Just glitching. Oh, alright. There are uh, signs. stuff, odd stuff. Well, actually, let's have a look at the scenery while we're at it. Let's slow down. Accidentally applied the emergency brakes. Let's look around out here. I didn't mean to just <laughs> barrel through the uh, city like that, but I guess I did. <laughs> Interesting. Brakes released. Just want to set up points here. All right, that's good. Throttle back up, I guess. Whatever. Apparently this line is going to take me a while uh, to go along, because I've got uh, the uh, lower left there. I can see I've got 110 miles until I get to wherever it is I'm going. Okay. 
that's kind of interesting. Um, can we actually derail this thing? I don't know. I actually want to check out the other trains and routes and stuff too, so... See what happens when I slam the brakes. Dynamic brakes work on this thing. Whatever dynamic brakes actually do, but oh yeah, I see what they do. All right. Can we burn the brakes out? Kind of sounds like that's what we did here. <laughs> All right, well, we've come to a stop. All right. And will we get moving again just to check? little exclamation point thing and it didn't work. Okay. Why can't I throttle up? I have no idea. Um. <laughs> okay then. Well, anyway. Four point four seven miles. That's good. All right. Um, all right. Let's try a completely different route. Let's do the London one. Chatham to. Uh. Tenham. Tenham. No idea how you guys pronounce that over there. Sorry if I'm butchering your language. England. <laughs> I speak American. Um. Yes, I know English is the language, but uh. All right, let's do the high-speed thing. Who am I kidding? 12 car. Good. Apparently it shows you the same ads every time. <laughs> That's good stuff. Pretty good popcorn, actually. <laughs> if I must say. Put this um, butter-flavored seasoning powder on it. it. Doesn't taste too bad. Okay, we're in a tunnel. Mm, all right, slightly different controls here. Okay, um, let's. Uh, why? Why can't I see anything? Uh, no image expected here. Mm, this is perplexing. Graph is apparently up, but I'm in a tunnel. All right then, um, we won't actually get to look at the train until we move out of this tunnel. So I guess we got to try to move it forward. Forward. Uh, some alert thing happened. I guess. Uh, I guess this control is inactive. And I guess this is a combined power handle. So brakes are released. And I guess we'll throttle up, and we're moving. Alright, so full power. 
I just want to get out of the tunnel. Okay, don't break. Don't break. Just release the brakes, please. Okay, good. Headlights are on. Ooh. Ooh. Very cool. Ah, I see how this is. Actually, this is really good looking. If I do say so myself. It's gonna be one of those, for an American, a very strange sounding British horn, isn't it? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, sorta. Whatever, not too bad. Um. Alright. I will say for a train, the acceleration's pretty good. And apparently you're at a 50 mile an hour limit here, or is this... Eh, something here. Obviously we're speeding now, but... Went up to the 50... Yeah, there we go. I guess the speed limit comes in when we pass... When the last carriage passes the, uh, the mile post. Alright. to that combined power handle. I can't see crap in this tunnel. Huh. It is very quiet though, I'll give it that. We uh, have the speed limit going up to 60. I'll be ignoring that. <laughs> Yes, I know, I'm speeding. And are we coming up to a curve out of this tunnel? Yeah, we are. I want to put the brakes on a tad. Okay. here. We don't pass through too quickly. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking. So far, I'm rather impressed. The uh, graphics on this thing. Actually, didn't even bother looking around the cab, but uh, wipers work. That's cool. Turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. Thank you. Okay. This is kind of interesting. This thing is really quiet. Like, really quiet. The rear of the train. And the flyby view. I will point out we're losing frame rate because I'm running fraps, but still not too bad. Huh. I like. I really like. See the fans on top for ventilating. Probably cooling the machinery as well as the air conditioning in the uh, cabin, which I believe we can glitch into. No, we can't. Huh. Nicely designed. Uh, all right, passengers. Should they be alarmed <laughs> at how fast we're going? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? Why are we slowing down so much? Uh, I see what happened. AWS. Not ready. 
see then. So I guess that's how the AWS system works. It's a safety feature, obviously, because I was obviously asleep at the wheel, so to speak. All right. This thing does make some really cool sounds, I'll give it that. Just trying to look around at the, uh... Oh, I see how the horn works. Two horns, that's cool. playing with the horn. Okay. Uh, we don't have a bell on this. That's only for U.S. Canadian. We're doing 105, 106. Huh. This thing's really oscillating quite a bit. The passenger's feeling. And they're being rattled and rolled a bit. See the uh, train banking from the outside? Yeah, kind of. Let's go around the corner, let's see what it does. It's not a very big corner, but still. Yeah, a little bit. You can see the oscillation going on. Bit of a tighter corner now. There it is. You can see it leaning. We probably shouldn't be making it around the corner right now. Actually, I think I'm going to slow down because this thing is going to derail. <laughs> want to do that anyway. Yeah, it kind of did. Whatever. Oh, crap. Alright, I guess that's how you turn off the alerter, if you really have to. They call it AWS, I remember MSTS called it alerter. Okay, we're in a 30 mile an hour zone, apparently. Oh crap, doing 140 miles an hour. <laughs> Well, I hope they weren't waiting for the train at this place, because we're not stopping. Yeah, I think the passengers would be getting rather worried at this point. 150 miles an hour. I really like how you get thrown around with the G-Force. This is like around the corner from the passenger perspective. Hmm. Nice 
view of the English countryside as it's flashing by the window. At this point, everyone would be screaming, I'm sure. scenario. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Quite interesting. Well, um, I really don't know what else to show you at this point, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I guess we'll call it a day at this point. Uh, I'll figure out whatever I can do and uh, I'll show you something else. So uh, <laughs> until then, uh, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, I have no idea what the hell the point of this was, but uh, yeah.